Hi guys, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're gonna do a short tutorial on the Sassria Insurance Bursary. So let's get into it. Okay, so first let's open up a browser and then let's open up a new tab. We've got a new tab open and we're gonna search Sassria Bursary 2024. Then we will have this particular uh, search page presented. We can go to either one of these um, with a hyperlink um, on the section here, but let's go to the second one because it has all the requirements regarding the bursary. Let's click on it. Okay, so this will take you directly then to the Sassarius uh, website link uh, specifically to the bursary section. Okay, so it says invitation to apply for the Sassarius bursary opportunities and then obviously it will give you a breakdown about the requirements. Okay. So Sassarius Bursary Scheme aims to assist with the creation of a talent pipeline for those skills that are scarce and are required in, within the organization. Bursary applications are invited for young people who aim to study full-time towards an undergraduate university or academic degree. Okay? Eligibility for requirements for the Sassarius Bursary. Applicants must satisfy the following minimum entry uh, criteria before applying for the bursary Please know that failure to satisfy all the requirements will lead to your application not being considered. Okay, so let's go into it. So you must be an African citizen. You must be currently in matric or have completed matric. You must be between the ages of 18 to 35. Must be applying for the for first year in 2024 academic year. Must obtain at least an average B symbol 70% in matric must be aiming to study full-time towards an undergraduate university degree or academic degree in insurance, business economics, accounting, investments, finance, uh, bachelor's of science in information technology, um, bachelor's of information technology in business science and mathematics. Okay, and just some important uh, um, information here, you may only apply once and incomplete and late applications will not be considered okay then certified copy of your South African ID or card both sides is required certified copies of matric certificate if currently in grade 12 a certified copy of latest grade 12 report just term 1 2 or 3 so latest one will be term 3 proof of parents or guardians income employed parents guardians must have a recent payslip unemployed parents or guardians must have a uh, affidavit declaring unemployment, self-employed parents or guardians must have an affidavit declaring monthly income, and deceased parents or guardians must have an affidavit or death certificate. Okay, let's get into it. So now we are going to go then to the first section of the application. As you can see, we've got five steps, and section A speaks about student details. So it asks the first question. Do you have a valid South African ID number? And you would say, yes, I do. And I'm going to go next. So in this particular step two, they do ask my ID number. So for this particular tutorial, I would need to put in my real South African ID number because it has a direct link to the uh, Home Affairs database system because it pick up exactly if you're putting an incorrect ID number in. So I need to put in my ID number. So I'm going to put it in and I'm just going to going to blur the ID number out. Okay, so let me just do that quickly. Okay, so I've obviously in included my ID number. So let's proceed. So now I ask the next question, please take the applicable option. Um, so for those matriculants in 2023 waiting for the results, you would then obviously click on currently in grade 12. But the second option which says completed grade 12 before 2023, these means for those matriculants or learners who have finished matric in 2020, 2022, 2021, whatever the case may be. So for those matriculants in 2023, today waiting for the results, you would click currently in grade 12. Then let's move on to our title. It would be Albi Mister. My first name will be ABC. Surname will be DEF. And then my gender would then obviously be male. Um, nationality would be South African, ethnicity or race would be colored mixed race, home language would be English, then my address, my street address would be, let's go with number 10, uh, 
um, freedom freedom okay we can just do it like this number 10 and then we can say freedom road city cape town state or province which would be western cape and then zip code 881 and i am in south africa so, um, let's go further down okay then my telephone number i don't have a home telephone number so it's not compulsory cell phone number let me just put any number in for now and then the email address i'll just say abcdef at gmail.com okay so let's proceed next okay and now we're moving over to step number three where obviously there are section b which is your academic details so your course of study so let's say i'm going to do bcom um finance i'll say bcom and it will be bcom finance okay and then now your institution i'm going to select university of the western cape because that is the university i attended previously and then my year of study would then be first year and then my subjects which way i need to list all my subjects so for matriculants you need to list all seven subjects and use your latest september or term three results or marks and let's say your mathematics uh, i got let's say 75 percent and then you're going to say um, english home language you have to say yeah. 84% for an example so you have to add in on this particular section um, all your subjects like law school attended I'm just gonna say st. Thomas um, st. Thomas secondary school now I'm to go to the school obviously the, the address of the school so let's search for st. Thomas secondary secondary school um okay let's go now it says a 71 beetleston road let's just copy that uh 71 beetleston road and i'm gonna say jarman city Kabeha. and then i'm gonna say eastern cape a zip code the zip code here says 6020 and then I am in South Africa then the telephone number of the school 041 041 okay it's gonna be 041 5452 and then 1942 1942 okay and then the next section here yes, is uh, motivation for consideration for bursary write a paragraph 10 lines about yourself including Tell us about yourself and academic and leadership achievements, why you should be considered for the bursary. Like I said, always, always try to link your motivation to your social strength and involvement or affiliations, your academic strengths, um, the course or the study or let's say the career you want to embark on, what impact you can, can produce, what impact you can do towards the community, what you want to create or what project you involve always tied into your field of study and what you're trying to achieve and what impact you want to have on a community and a greater field of study okay then in this particular section further down we obviously will ask your id copy which you obviously include there your parent or garden id copy and then your matrix certificate if you don't have it but obviously as mentioned you will use then your latest grade 12 um, marks term three so let's just put any document on here let's just choose anyone let's just put anyone on here any document okay and let's just put anything in this section a b c d e f and let's go to next okay so step number four is now where they asked uh, was a section c uh, details of parents or legal guardian so now i need to obviously then include the name of my parents so let's say uh, surname uh, def id number this in this section i need to put once again 
my real parent's ID number in. So it will not pick up if I put a fake ID number in. So I'm going to just do this section and I'm going to pr proceed as per normal. So I have included my parent's ID number in, so I can obviously proceed as per normal postal address. So it will be um, where I stay, it will be 10 um, Freedom Road, City would be Cape Town, uh, Western Cape, um, and then South Africa is the country, no telephone number, no work number, cell phone number is required. I just put any number on there in this section and an employer um, please enter not applicable if unemployed so my mom is unemployed so not applicable and then if unemployed please attach a copy of an affidavit in a comments uh, section below so here I'll then obviously have to put in affidavit from the police station declaring my mom is unemployed so I'm gonna just choose any document for now I'll just choose anyone and then by checking the box below, I, I as the applicant declare the above information is true, so I declare and I also I give consent to Sestia can use my personal information provided here within for the purpose of processing the bursary application only and for no other purposes. So I'll say consent, I'll click I'm not a robot and then I'll say next. And this is now where the last section would be step number five, a short survey, which year about the bursary. So the best possible uh, um, selection here would either be the website um, or if other, you can say TikTok um, and, and YouTube. Okay. And from there onwards, you can just press submit. And then from there onwards, that same email you have inserted on the system or the application portal you will obviously get a notification to say you have um, be, your application has been received by Cesaria. Here's the application number or reference code, and then from there onwards, you will kind of get more information regarding the bursary. I wish this video was uh, insightful. It provided much clarity, guidance, and um, a surety that you can apply for this bursary. As you can see, it was simple. It was easy. It wasn't as difficult as the previous bursary videos I've made. Please leave a comment on my videos, suggestions, recommendations, and let me know if you're struggling with anything, and I wish you all of the best.